What's your favorite kick wax? Uh, this one. B17. <laughs> You've never even used B17. Yes, I have. It's the old national team minus one, minus seven. Okay. You just let the cat out of the bag. I was going to announce that. Oh. You're sorry. not very good at this marketing stuff, are you? No, I'm not. Rody minus one, minus seven. We sell more of that than anything else. Are you asking what yeah. you Yeah. You're the... I would have to say for kick wax, that's definitely one of the best sellers. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, minus one, minus seven. Here's all I could find from last year is a Rody old tin of minus three, minus ten. Those two national team waxes and the white tins have been super popular. Um, it looks like it's been in the bottom of your shoe for a year. No, I think it's been in the bottom of my backpack. Okay. <laughs> uh, all of these top line waxes, oh, well, I should say, all along we've been telling people like, oh, this is sort of an extension of the top line into the colder range. These are the top line waxes, VO, have I got this right? VO. VPS, VXPS, it's kind of like uh, multi-grade violet, regular violet, and extra violet, bracketing the zero degree range really successfully with pretty big steps in between and when you're on the snow, but in a narrow temperature range. Um, minus three, minus 10, and minus one, minus seven have been amazing additions to the point where really that lineup, if people are racing, that's kind of where I point people to start. And that's what we reach for first to try to work well. How about this one? Minus one, minus five, BB15. I ordered a bunch of those because we've never had those before. I mean, maybe we had one tin once. Yeah, we've had them for testing. I'm interested in trying that more. Yeah, um, my, my take on this is that it's a lot like the old uh, Super Jala. They, they make, made a mix of their Jala and Super Blue. Mm -hmm. Um, kind of a blue-yellow mix, cowboy wax, right? Like uh, Ruff Patterson used to say. Um, the, the material in here is a little different. I think it's still a mix of existing formulas. I'm sure they make it from raw material. Um, I've heard of great success with it. We haven't knocked anything out of the park with that stuff yet. It's pretty tacky, a little icing prone, but uh, good in some conditions. Mm -hmm. Be fun to test it against your mixes. Your, yeah, your it will. cowboy my, mixes. Yeah, my, uh, they'll have all the clister material in them. Uh, this, I don't think, has clister material in it. It's just got really soft hard wax material, although I don't even know chemically how to draw the different, the line between those two, but whatever. Um, one of the comments I've heard from people this year about this FIS floral band is some of the more advanced kick waxers are losing their minds like we got to go back to floral free kick wax this is going to be terrible because all the swix vr it is has floral material in it the vouty gf has floral material in it um the you know the start fhf or rf or whatever has floral material in it people have named the top line as something that they're going to lose with the floral band and they're wrong. There's never been floral material in this top line wax. I think it was unfortunately named um, because it it seems like uh, it seems like it should be a topping wax or something. But it's not. It's just a different line of raw material. Um, so this stuff is secure. There's no fluoro in it. Never has been. We don't use it as a cover wax. We use it as the, the bulk wax. Now I'm just talking to you. You should say something. <laughs> You're, you're. I had a bunch to communicate, but you're contributing almost nothing except you kind of stole my thunder right up front. By <laughs> <laughs> you're usually the one who does the talking. I just, I just shake my head, nod my head. So, we just had like how many hours alone together in the house, <laughs> and this is what we're coming to. <laughs> <laughs> Gunner's in Silver Star. Noah went to Bennington for his sister's birthday. Scott left work yesterday afternoon and he hasn't come back yet. It's been a long, <laughs> long overnight. <laughs> what were the other points you were going to make? I kind of made them and you're like, you were supposed to add some entertainment value. <laughs> come on. You should have gotten Johnny here. <laughs> 
I guess so. This is why we don't make marketing material. That's definitely why. <laughs> <laughs> the one good, the one good piece we ever made was that interview of you and Ida, and I had to that do some creative. That was a joke. It was a joke. It was really funny. <laughs> and just. All right, that's it. Roadie top line. It's back in stock. I'm excited. Well, it is New... nice that it doesn't have any floral material. And it is nice that you can spot the tin without turning it upside down. That's true. This is the same wax in new packaging. So if you're looking for minus one, minus seven, order the B17. And if you're looking for minus three, minus ten, order the B310. And if you want to try something new, order the B BV15. Is it B? Yeah, why is this one BV? I don't know. They Maybe it's blue violet or something. I don't know. Now I'm thinking maybe the V has always been something to do with violet. You know, VO, VPS, VXPS, and now we've got BV, which is like maybe blue violet, and like we've got oh. B, two different Bs, although that's labeled, that has a green color. That I don't makes know, sense. I don't understand the naming protocol. Okay. But then I name all the grinds and they're silly. That's true. All right, anyway. I think we, is that enough? That's enough, yeah. Okay, turn it off. Okay, I'm gonna go to work.